Now, uh, let's get started. My name is Shin Min Chul, and uh, I might be the last guy to deliver the presentation. Now, this is a photo taken on the very day that I was born. It was exactly 20 years from today. <clears throat> Actually, during my mother's pregnancy, my parents had a car accident, so they straight went to the hospital. The doctor said the baby, which was me, was on the verge of uh, getting aborted. You know what abortion means, right? Losing the baby. And so my mother was very worried about that, and she never came out from from that day until I was born. And luckily, luckily, I wasn't aborted, and I <clears throat> and I'm born. <laughs> now that's the family photo taken three years, three years ago. It was taken my brother's birthday party. That's my dad. He's a good man. That's my mom. She's a good woman. <laughs> that's, my, that's my brother. He's a brat, but he's okay. We used to fight a lot when we were kids. Like uh, when my, I and my brother <clears throat> liked playing computer games, but there, there was only one computer in my house. And you know, kids don't like to take turns. They just want to take they just want to play the games all by themselves. So we fought a lot, but we never do that again. We were all grown-ups right now. Uh, uh, now that's what I do in my free time. I, I'm a big fan of American rock music from the 1980s and 1990s. I actually do not listen to South Korean music. Now that's... Uh, that's all rock music. U2, Aerosmith, Metallica, ETC. <clears throat> uh, the reason why I started listening to heavy metal music is because of my mom. My mom was a great fan of these kind of music when she, when she was a, a high school student. And she started collecting the CDs like, like, like these. And I started listening to these also when I, when I was in high school. Uh, and <clears throat> and this is not the whole collect whole. This is just a fraction of my uh, whole collection. I have also hundreds of LP records. You know LP records? It's a big, big, big CD-like thing. It can, big CD-like thing. Uh, it became obsolete when the CDs came out. But anyway, <laughs> now this is my high school grades. <laughs> This is my grades when I was third grade in high school. Now this is not an international high school. This is not a science high school. This is just an ordinary high school. <laughs> this is no high school in Gangnam. This is just an ordinary high school. And you know, South Korean students are evaluated, evaluated uh, in a scale of one to nine. One being the highest and nine being the lowest. My grades are like four, five four, five, six, even seven, so I was just an ordinary, ordinary student in an ordinary school. But I always dreamed of becoming a student in Seoul National University. But <clears throat> to become a student in Seoul National University, I have to become the 1% student. You guys were all 1% student, but that wasn't always the case for me. And I, <clears throat> so yeah, I was a failure when I was, a, when I was in high school. So I have to take, I have to wait one year. I have to, I have I have to spend extra one extra year to get admitted to Seoul National University. I got uh, I probably got 400 points. I mean standard points. Standard points means Kyojinjongsu in South Korean. And, I've, and I and I'm here. And I'm, that's why I'm happy. <laughs> 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 Maybe the last photo is deleted, but I'll just go on. <clears throat> uh, I'm majoring in civil engineering, but my dream isn't about engineering. No, no engineer, no doctor, no nothing. I'm just, I'm new to Seoul, but I just want to leave Seoul. 
Seoul is not an amazing city to live in. Horrible air quality. Heavily populated transportation systems. I don't like these. I just want to live in a nice house in the, in the countryside. And probably do nothing. <laughs> <laughs>